Hello guys, welcome back to another video with Life with Alan TV and Cooking with Dorcas. Today, as you see the title, we're going to be making a broccoli cheddar soup. This recipe is really simple. It is delicious. Um, one of my favorite broccoli cheddar soups I get is from like Panera Bread. So I, of course, had to recreate that at home to get that same delicious taste without having to go out. So I wanted to share with you, this is one of my favorite soups. So sit back and enjoy the recipe. Okay guys, we're going to get started with this recipe. What I'm going to do first is cut up or dice up one half of an onion. And this is going to be um, one of the first things that we saute for our soup. So after getting the onions chopped up and diced to the size that I wanted them, we're going to go ahead and get our broccoli cut up. chose to use fresh broccoli um, I'm sure you can use frozen and get the same effect but today we're going to use fresh broccoli I'm going to get these stems cut off get the broccoli cleaned off and get started with our dish Okay guys, we have our onions and our carrots all chopped up. And we, I mean not the onions and the carrots, I'm sorry. We have our onions and our broccoli all chopped up. We have the broccoli clean and ready to go. So I have the Dutch oven here. And I'm gonna start off by pouring some olive oil to coat the bottom of our Dutch oven. So first thing first, we're going to saute the onions and get those all translucent. And then we'll go from there. So let me add in the onions to our oil. The pot is still warming up because I just turned it on. But it won't take long. You guys are gonna have to let me know, do you like broccoli cheddar soup? 
one of my faves. So since it's been cold the last past two nights, I decided to cook something warm. And this is a simple dish. I'm gonna add in some garlic with those onions also. So I have my holiday spatula here. I'm just gonna combine all that together. We're gonna to get these sauteed and then we'll move along to the next step. Be right back. Alright guys, after you've gotten the onions sauteed and down to being translucent, then we're going to add in our flour. Don't worry, all of the ingredients and measurements will be down in the description box. So we're going to add in our flour and get that stirred in and combined with that olive oil and onion mix. This is kind of like making a roux for your soup. It's going to give it that thickness that you need to make the base of your soup good and creamy. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. So just get that all stirred in and combine with those onions and the oil. Once you get that all mixed up and it should look a little bit like that, really thick, and then it's going to be time to add in your vegetable broth. Now I had turned my eye down just a little bit, but now I'm going to raise it back up a little bit more. Okay. And I'm not making a really big pot of soup. I don't like to have too much leftovers. So I'm not making too much. I'm kind of doing a small batch. This is just the two of us here. So just enough to have some for tonight and then maybe enough for one more bowl tomorrow. So what I did is just pour that broth in there and got that um, mixture all combined together. Then I'm gonna go in with my seasonings. I'm keeping it simple tonight, going in with the nature seasoning and it's just a blend of like salt pepper some spices onion garlic that type of thing so it's a pretty um good seasoning to use on pretty much anything so i'm going in with some of my nature seasoning and then i'm going to give that a stir At this point, guys, it's like you, you're literally just throwing everything inside of your pot. So after that, I'm going to go in with my carrots. And I got the, they're called the matchstick carrots from um, your vegetable section at the store. We'll get that stirred in. Then I'm going to go in with my broccoli. You can use as much or as little broccoli as you like. It's really according to the size batch of soup that you're making. So I'm going to get this stirred up and then I'm going to cover it and bring it up to a boil. So what you want to do at this point is get those vegetables 
softened up. I'll come back once the pot comes up to a boil. Okay guys, I had to come back real quick. I guess you probably guessed it. it. It just didn't sit right with me just using that one seasoning. So I had to come grab my chicken flavor bouillon just to give it a little bit more kick. Sprinkle that. And now we'll bring it up to a boil. I feel better, okay. <laughs> Be back guys. Okay guys, this is what it's looking like after it was brought up to a boil. It looks and smells really good. So at this point, what I'm going to do is add in the sharp cheddar. This is, this is one of the ingredients that makes it oh so delicious. gonna get this stirred in and once this melts down that's really it like that is the completion of our broccoli cheddar soup it looks so good it looks delicious so yeah get that all combined and melt it down and then I'm going to give it a taste. Make sure I don't need any additional seasonings in it. And boom. Voila. Just like that. A soup done in, how long did it take me? Maybe 20 minutes? Okay guys, I was a little extra. I'm like, why not? I ended up having some of this Parmesan cheese left over. And I feel like you can't go wrong with a little bit extra cheese. So I added some of that into my soup. Off camera, I tasted it and I needed just a little bit more seasoning. So I added a little bit more of the nature seasoning. So that, along with that Parmesan cheese, I'm certain it's going to be just right. But oh my goodness, it's so good. I can't wait to enjoy this for dinner tonight. Another quick dinner in the books, broccoli cheddar soup, guys. Definitely let me know if you're gonna try this recipe in the comment section. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And share this out with someone else. Until next time, see you in the next one, guys.